watching Curtis do his work here. <sighs> well, commercials. Yeah, I think I told the story numerous times about um, I was becoming aware of the world. My mom had told me, and I was actually, I remember being shocked. This is one of the weird things is, and it's not a useful talent, but I can remember breastfeeding clearly and not liking it. And when I told my mom that when I was old enough to tell her, she freaked out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember discovering my hands, that the things that were hitting me were hooked to me. I remember that moment. And the day she told me about commercials, because, well, I saw, uh, I was watching Captain Satellite when he first came out uh, he was he didn't even have his own show then he, I think he guest appeared on Captain Kangaroo and it was some show that I really liked and it went to a commercial break and for me a commercial break was just part of the show and they showed a rocket blasting off flames shooting out and everything and they said you get one of these in every box of cereal and I was like damn and I went straight to my mom and told her I said that you got to get this kind of cereal and it's going to have a rocket in it and when it showed up and she and, and I was wondering how they got that rocket in the cereal box and so she takes it out and hands it to me and so and of course it, an extremely dangerous toy for kids I mean, this thing was like a fucking needle, right? It would hit the ceiling when you fired it off. If you were down looking at it, it'd go right through your eye. All of our toys were very dangerous then. Johnny Sevens, look up a Johnny Seven. I mean, it had more projectiles. And she and and I said, well, where's the where's the spaceship? I wanted to go to space. And she said, they just they they lied to you to make you buy the cereal. What? Yep, they lied to you to make you buy the cereal. And, if I, and from that moment on, anyone who advertises to me, especially the ones that are in my face all the time, okay, um, I make it a point to not buy their products. Usually because, well, you know, if you're going to spend all your money on fucking advertising, how about just make a better product? And if it's good, I'll find you. If I need one, I'll find you. Just make a better product. Don't try to sell me with some idiotic, happy, dancing, fucking, you know, rigmarole. Just make a better product. Make it out of better material, better inspection process, et cetera, et cetera. Better customer service. And I'll patronize you. You see, I learned early on, this: if you watch YouTube, there's this whole, do not buy solar panels if you live in one of these 10 states. The government's going to give you free, free solar panels. And now, see, they changed that a little bit because I think they might have gotten in trouble. Now they, they have this uh, woman that comes on, young lady, about 30. She's telling me about how, oh, yeah, you can get them for, the government's incentivized you to get them for free. It's a scam. Now, why YouTube even fucking lets them do that kind of advertising? Because it's extremely deceptive. It's, it reminds me of the, the stuff that I was doing videos on for years, right? Um, all the, you know scam charities and all the lying commercials trying to get your grandma to sign up for this Medicare or something or other that was just simply data mining and getting to sign up for shit they couldn't use with doctors that weren't in their area, et cetera, et cetera. Just scummy motherfuckers, man. And these guys are the same way. When they say do not buy, or, or it could be the biggest mistake you ever made. They're trying to call you stupid first, okay? That you're fucking ignorant. You don't know what they're trying to do. Trust me, anyone's going to spend $25,000 on solar panels, I think you're better off coming to them with the correct information that is a competitive deal with high customer service, quality product. I will fucking patronize you, okay? But when you come on and first call me fucking stupid and then lie to me and tell me the government's going to give me free solar panels, if you go solar within the next two weeks. That's the key part. You see, you should know they're lying when that happens. 
if you're going to go solar in the next two weeks. It's free if you're going to go solar within the next two weeks. Yeah, because within two weeks, you're going to be signing a fucking contract and paying for it. Nothing's free. You get a rebate. That's what you get. You have to pay the money up front, first off. You have to buy the product, install the product, and now what are you dealing with? You're dealing with the guy who you bought the panels from, who you expect to be your customer service rep, right? That's what you bought. When, when I see that, that it's for free, and they get to say it's for free, the government's gonna buy them for free, they say free, 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 a number of times, okay? At no cost to you. Well, that pretty much means a solid something to me. If they're telling me that I can get free solar panels at no cost to me, okay, and I'm stupid, I'm going to call that hotline if I believe what they're saying. So that, for me, that's a classic bait and switch scam. And why, you know, YouTube lets them put that ad on there, I don't know. I haven't seen it on TV, I only see it on YouTube. Maybe that's why, right? The feds won't let them put it on the airwaves. So yeah, I have a thing about commercials. If you if you if you're gonna if you're gonna advertise to me and I see your ad, I make it a note. Especially if I see it two or three times and it starts to get annoying, which they all basically do, I make a note not to buy your product and I put it on the fucking list that I have on my phone. That is how I fight back here. Okay? So that I don't feel like I'm just some fucking, you know, John getting raped by these guys. Trust me, I mean I try to find ways that I can fight back with my wallet that makes me feel better. I, they, 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 don't, they can give a shit about my little bit of profit on products, right? They could care less. <coughs> but it makes me feel better. So, yeah, that's how I sit with commercials and ads. Um, we had this guy doing, I won't say his name, but I got sick of hearing his name, doing real estate. And I thought, man, you know, listen, I, I understand that you're, you know, you're wanting to appeal to people and you're in a competitive business. Real estate is competitive, okay? If you can't do anything else, you do real estate. It drove me crazy and if anybody asked me, I would never recommend it. That he would be the, because his name is right there, the first one, I remember how fucking annoying I was and I would never recommend him to anybody because of the way he advertised. It wasn't what he said. It was how many times he fucking hammer, 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 hammer. And within a very short period of time, I was like, dude, I can't stand to see your face. You know what I mean? I would never recommend you to anybody. And that's the problem with, you know, saturation. I mean, it, it, it just gets to be ridiculous. And, and YouTube does that intentionally to get you to pay for YouTube. I got plenty of other services I don't have to pay for. And I have many ways of outsmarting their little AI where I'm inspected as little as possible. And the commercials that do give me a hard time, I, they simply go on the list. And that's, that's like, I don't, I don't miss commercial for YouTube at all. Because I get my cake and eat it too. So, yeah, that's, a, that's what I feel about commercials. Television. Okay, so television was always free. It was always free. And when cable came, when H, I won't even say cable, because it wasn't cable. People didn't get cable. It wasn't called cable. It was called HBO. Do you have HBO? People didn't say, ask if you had cable. And there was no commercials and you had to pay for it. And it had all this interesting programming that you couldn't get on television. And yeah, it was kind of like a must have, you know what I mean? Those boxes were easy to crack by the way. And then there came a day where, well, wait a minute. So I'm paying you for your programming, just like HBO, I'm paying you to serve me up, what, the 25 channels out of 250 you're forcing me to buy, um, and I have to watch commercials too? Isn't paying you for the programming kind of like paying for HBO? You see? So, 
I'm a very, I'm really fucking cynical when it comes to uh, capitalism and the way that it survives in a very evil, deceptive, deceiving, unequal way. It's plain as day. No one could, no one, no business person is ever going to fucking convince me that the, the way capitalism works in the United States is the way it should be. Not a single one could ever convince me. I would, I would eat you alive. You would not have a fucking opportunity to look anything other than a cruel bastard or bitch. That's what you would look like if we want to have a discussion about inequality, okay? Because I can face the truth. If you can't, don't fucking debate me. Because yes, I am cynical. I'm, I'm unfortunately, I have of high intelligence and, uh, and, and cynical, bad combination. So yeah, I have a list. I have a list of fucking products and services that I will not buy. Not only that, but I tell other people, listen, man, they hit you so fucking hard. Who spends that much money on advertising? People that are out of shitty pro products. People that have shit for products. That's who spends, that's who drives you crazy with their ads non-fucking stop, okay? Trying to basically turn you into a fucking cult member. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think, I think that we shouldn't be paying for commercials. If you've purchased any kind of service, that should be it. I shouldn't have to watch fucking ads now because I'm paying you. See, they get double fucking, they're double dipping everyone. And it, for, I find it disgusting because we allowed it to happen. Your fucking government allowed it to happen. Your representatives allowed it to happen. Your congressmen allowed it to happen. And your senators allowed it to happen. Where they basically gave them the fucking airwaves for nothing. And now, now they're letting us fucking rape us nonstop. Because it's the, it, everything is so anti-competitive anyway, right? Um... Direct TV. I only have their service for the fucking DVR. That's it. We we cut back to an absolute tiniest minimum fucking uh, television channels. We get the two channels that I need, one for my Formula One and one for her show she watches. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And, you know, I don't watch commercials on my DVR. I skip, I, I, you know, I hit eight times. Eight times I have to hit it. Eight 30-second commercials every fucking 11 minutes. And I feel sorry for people that don't have a DVR, right? So if Formula, if I didn't want, need to watch Formula One, I could just shit can that whole system. And people that go from, from you know, satellite, from like DirecTV to other streaming services like YouTube for their live television, when that show ends, it fucking ends because they're based on commercials. Everything in that system is based on commercials. Yeah, they're fucking charging you and they keep charging you. But the reason they charge you 14 instead of $80, right? Is, you know, they're the ads. See? You can't really escape them if you're going to choose to walk, have a service that shows them. So I'll put up with them. Especially on YouTube. If, if a person is producing content that I want to watch... The algorithm is watching. I watch at least one commercial, the first one. And usually they've gotten wise to that because if you watch the first one, you can't skip the second one. It gives you a chance to skip during the first one, but if you don't, you have to watch the second one. <laughs> yeah, ads, commercials. Commercials and ads. Uh, I look at it as the more they advertise and the more they're in your face, the shittier their product, the crappier the customer service, and the higher the price. That's what I find. Period. Right? I mean, what is the fucking sense? It's like charities. You don't see Wounded Warrior anymore. What? We quit having Wounded Warriors? Is that it? We quit having Wounded Warrior? No. Those fucking bastards. You know, they spent $280 million a year to make $300 million, And then the veterans got five and they took the rest. The more they advertise, the more advertising you see. I'll guarantee you it works out every single fucking time, okay? Listen to a 70-year-old guy who's been through it. They're lying. The more they advertise, the less you want to do business with them. 
And if, if you want to be meant like me, if you want to get some mental satisfaction, first off, don't buy their product and then put them on a list. Mentally, get out your phone, get out your, you know, your, your app, open it up. First note of the day, do not patronize, bam. <laughs> Blank Barker. <laughs> you know, we let them do this and that's kind of sad. We, we let them do this, okay? There was a time when cable and commercial free television existed alongside free television that was paid for by ads. Now you have to watch ads while you're paying for that optional system. The government, if they gave a shit and didn't want to let these companies run ramp shod and basically have, you know, monopolies like I have here in my area, right? The government would have fucking substations everywhere and we could get over the air clean signals that weren't all trashed up with double reflections and shit. Okay? If the government wanted it, they could put them all out of business because, I mean, TV would be free. You'd be able to get all channels in the nation for free that the government just pumps out of stations, right? The money that they, you know, that we should have gotten something for selling all these airwaves to these companies that want to rape us. Why doesn't our government have repeaters everywhere broadcasting all available television with commercials that pays for itself for free? See, none of it makes sense if you're as cynical as I am. 